What's up? Hope you are doing well out there. As you can see, we are in a hotel. Michelle is putting on some makeup, but we are in Boston. And when I mean we, it's just Michelle and I. Addison and Abigail, they're with my in-laws right now. We wanted to have an extended weekend together. It's something we haven't done for quite some time. And uh, we're gonna enjoy some of what Boston has in store for us. It actually took us like over seven hours to get here from where we live in Pennsylvania. And I have to say, we are so excited to go on our first little excursion. Tonight, we are going on a ghost's and graveyard tour. I know Michelle's really looking forward to it, and so am I. So we arrived down in Boston about, I don't know, an hour ago, and now we're walking around the wharf area here in downtown, and uh, we're looking for a place to eat dinner, possibly outside, although the sky looks a little bit threatening. After we eat a little something, we are going to go on our ghosts and graveyards tour. Um, on a trolley, which is going to take us through like all these different haunted areas. I'm so excited for that because I've always been like one with the supernatural. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. It's exciting. Here we go. ready to go on the ghosts and graveyards tour here. This is so awesome. I can't wait. We're going on our fright scene tour. <laughs> to Tops Hill, which was purchased from a fellow named Cop. It's not why it's named that though. It actually got its name because the very first people interred there were Mr. Cop's own grandchildren. I rather like that fact. It means her name is spoken every day. That's a form of immortality. We're next to a graveyard. unique are the coats of arms on them because by the time the granary was built no one wanted to be associated anymore with the nobility of England so you'll see coats of arms here in Cobbs Hill and over in King's Chapel but not in any of the other burying grounds because they, they're all later. That was fantastic being in the graveyard there. Isn't so, that cool? <laughs> it was so cool because of the lightning. Spooky. Yeah, it's actually raining, thundering and lightning right now. It's like a really light rain, but it goes so well with, with the ambiance and, and, and what this tour is. It's awesome. Welcome to Boston Common. This area was the first one that was really settled when the Europeans showed up. Of course, when the Puritans arrived, they weren't the first European. There was a man living here already. His name was William Blackston. He was living here alone with just his library of a thousand books. Ooh. Can I just tell you how jealous I am? His house was over at the other end. There's a lovely little plaque there commemorating the spot. He had been here a number of years, made a lot of friends among the native folks, and he maybe went a tiny bit native himself, but he knew what it meant when he saw those sails. And so he went into his house, put on his finest wig, mounted his bull, and rode out to greet the Puritans. <laughs> I hope she is. Hello, I am Evelyn. 
Welcome to the Granary Burying Ground, the third oldest burying ground in the city. Established in 1660, there are 2,345 headstones here. But can anybody guess how many bodies are buried here? Many Go more. on, y'all guess. 10,000. What'd you say? 10,000. 10,000? Close, a little less. 5,000. More than 5,000. 7,000. Less than 10,000. 7,000. <laughs> Ooh, right between 7,000 and 6,000. We just got back on the trolley. You probably can't see it right now, but we are absolutely soaked. It was pouring in one of the graveyards, and it just came down like... In buckets. I, I, it was like buckets of water. We are absolutely soaked. I mean, I'm soaked through at this point. My shoes are soaked. My socks! We just got in the car, and oh my gosh, we are soaking wet, but it was a fun time. It was great. We're going to head back to the hotel. We'll probably just catch you tomorrow, where we're going to do the Freedom Trail. We're going to go to the JFK Presidential Library. We have a sunset cruise around Boston Harbor. It's going to be fun. As long as the weather gets better, it'll be a lot of fun. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> you hear that noise? Here's what's happening. Gonna take a little time for these things to dry out. We're heading to our Freedom Trail walking tour and we're in downtown Boston here. It is a cool area. Really enjoy walking around. It reminds uh, me of the West End in England. Yeah. It's very theatrical and just a cool place to walk around. So we'll see you on the Freedom Trail walking tour. take anybody here but since we're here anyways here it is Marquis de Lafayette there's a reason there's a Lafayette street in every major uh, in, in every major city in the country because this guy is an American war hero I will say that he came from France when he was a teenager against the orders of the king against the, order of, uh, against the orders of his family his father died in the French and Indian war that uh, somehow George Washington accidentally started uh, but uh, eventually George Washington would actually see him uh, it would take time as an adoptive son and he immediately though saw George Washington as like a surrogate father This is the graveyard that we were at last night when it was like pouring buckets of water on us. And it's awesome. We're actually going to be able to go in it again to uh, see, what's, see what's here. Look at Paul Revere's grave and uh, who was the other one? John Hancock is in here. Yeah. In Salem, everything is haunted. I'm walking around like that trash can is haunted, that building is haunted, like that person down the street, haunted. fantastic tour that we were just on and uh, we're here at the Quincy Market right now we're gonna chill out for a little bit Stone streets that are still here. Such amazing history. We've been loving walking around Boston here. It's been a really fun time. And now we're gonna head to what is gonna be probably my favorite part of this trip, the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library. I cannot wait to go there, show Michelle. She's never been there. I was there a couple times when I was when I was younger, and it was fascinating. I can't wait to see some of the new exhibits. Yes. I'm a nerd. I am so absolutely stoked and excited that we are here right now. I've been waiting for a long time to get back here. On the land that stretched 6,000 miles behind us, pioneers gave up their safety, their 
University in June of 1963 was one of my favorites. We had so much fun at the JFK Presidential Library. Well, I mean, I had fun. I know Michelle had fun. We uh, are now in downtown Boston again. We're gonna get some dinner before we go on our sunset cruise. Hopefully we'll get some Italian for dinner. I'm really hoping for Italian. And uh, sunset cruise is gonna be awesome. It'll be so pretty to see the sunset on the water, overlooking Boston. It'll be a great time. Dinner is coming up soon. We got the, a lot of this to ourselves out here. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's awesome. Beautiful day. here on our sunset cruise. It's kind of one of the last things we had booked on this trip. We're really looking forward to it. I think we're gonna see some nice video footage really soon here.
we're just gonna chill out downtown, walk around a little bit. It's that time where we are almost gonna be heading home, but Michelle and I wanted to stop by Harvard, Cambridge, to see what this campus looked like and what the atmosphere of the area was. had a fantastic time and that's going to do it for us on this particular Warren family vlog. So make sure that you like this video, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when we post new videos and we'll see you on the next one.